Hi guys, you're watching Varian24.com and today we are going to assemble Huawei P50 Pro. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. For this we are using a special tool. Please note that the tray is located at the bottom of the phone. Next we move on to heating the back cover. We are using a heating mat for this, but you can also use a hair dryer. We heat the back core to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 5 to 10 minutes, we can begin separating the back core. To loosen the adhesive, we use a thin plastic film. Gently insert it into the gap between the back core and the mid frame and carefully slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive. Be especially careful around the camera area to avoid damaging the lenses. Also watch out around the side buttons. There may be flex cables nearby. So we carefully work our way around with a plastic film and remove the back core. Take note of what is attached to the back core. In this case, it is just a gasket. Next, we start removing the screws at the top section. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 30 Please note that this model uses screws of various sizes, so it is best to place them on a dedicated surface in a specific order to avoid mixing them up during reassembly. Some of the screws can be hard to remove, keep that in mind. We also recommend taking a photo of the screw's layout, that is what we usually do. And after unscrewing everything, we use tweezers to carefully remove the screws. But before proceeding further, it is a good idea to cover the camera lenses, to protect them from the dust or debris. We use a special film for this. And we continue removing any stuck screws and cover all the cameras. Don't forget to unscrew the one with the warranty sticker too. We carefully remove all screws and place them on a dedicated surface. Once the last screw is out, we move on to disconnecting the top cover. For this, it is best to avoid using metal tools to prevent any short circuits on the motherboard. As we can see, there is a connector bracket and a connector that likely leads to the NFC and wireless charging and possibly the flash. It is best to disconnect this before continuing. And of course, take your time, don't force anything. It is important to find the plastic clips or locking points where the cover is held and gently unclip them. Finally, we can carefully lift and remove the cover which includes the contact pads, wireless charging coil and NFC. Next we disconnect the two battery connectors, again using a non-metallic tool. And we can now also disconnect the flex cable leading to the charging port. Now we move on to the screws in the bottom section. These screws are also different, so again, it is a good idea to take a photo of them and place them in an organized layout. Some screws are hard to remove, so we use tweezers to gently pull them out. Next we remove the loudspeaker, but first it is best to disconnect the coaxial cable connector so it doesn't get in the way. 
and then we remove the cover that hides the subboard. We disconnect the speaker connector, the interboard flex, and all other nearby connectors to keep them out of the way. We also disconnect the second coaxial cable, and somewhere inside we should also find the fingerprint sensor connector. And now we can remove the speaker. It is lightly glued, so carefully lift and detach it from the one edge. The antenna board is also located on the speaker unit. Set the speaker aside. And now we can detach the subboard. Gently pry it from the edge and lift it out. As you can see, the subboard has an extension leading to the charging port. Make sure the coaxial cable isn't in the way and remove the board. And this is where the microphone is located on the subboard. Next, we can disconnect the charging port. Gently lift and remove it. It is embedded into the display frame. Left in the frame are the fingerprint sensor and the vibration motor. And now our usual microphone hole test, it is protected by a mesh on the outside and a membrane on the inside. The port has an L-shaped channel, so inserting something into it won't damage the microphone itself. Now we move on to the motherboard. We disconnect the two coaxial cable connectors, then the camera connectors. And gently remove the cameras and set them aside. The cameras are held in a somewhat unusual manner, so you need to be especially careful and precise during this step. We also need to unscrew the screws securing the motherboard. Do this carefully. And we can now disconnect the bracket for the front-facing camera and then the camera itself gently lifting it by the edge. Again, it is best to cover the front camera lens with a film to protect it from dust. There is one more screw to remove. Again, we use the 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. We unscrew it and place it on your organized surface. This screw is different from the others too. Finally, we can remove the motherboard. We find a safe point to gently lift and remove it. Make sure all connectors are detached, lift it out carefully and set it aside. About the top microphone hole, the same story as before. It is inside a display frame, L-shaped, and the microphone component itself is mounted on the back of the motherboard. So again, inserting anything into the hole won't damage it. Lastly, we move on to removing the battery. As is typical for Huawei, there are brown pull tabs that need to be peeled back, but they tear very easily. Carefully fold the tabs back and pull that center tab to remove the battery. And that is it, the disassembly is complete. Thank you for watching and see you in our new videos or on our Telegram channel or our website. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our websites. Take care of yourself and until next video.